What's going on guys, Nemrican here, back in our Dragon Ball The Breakers video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a combat tutorial for Dragon Ball The Breakers. So this involves melee combat, um, key blast, landing super attacks, and any other advanced tech that comes with any of those three things. So we're going to go ahead and load up, and I'm going to have my uh, friends Gogeta and Ryu uh, help with this process. So we're going to go ahead and load up into a practice mode and get this tutorial rocking and rolling. Alrighty, so we have our handy dandy Smilovich here to uh, be our little dummy. So if you guys don't know melee combat, uh, you can smack the raider in different directions depending on where you're facing. You're so if you run up to the raider and you're face to face, you will smack them away from you. As you can see here, as you go from uh, the top, if I attack um, the raider from here, I will smack them below me. And if I go uh, below them, I'll do the opposite, right? I'll hit them upwards. And then if I hit them from behind, let me just cancel my transformation really quick. If I hit them from behind, I will hit them forward. So keeping this in mind, this is how you can kind of like move the Raider in different areas if you're trying to set things up. But yeah, this is what happens when you attack the Raider from different spots. All right, next up is a clash. So when you go to fight the Raider, oops, uh, when you go um, try to do a melee combo, uh, the Raider can actually clash if they hit it at the same time. And this typically happens when you're the same level. If you're uh, a higher level, you'll actually gain priority. So I'll show what that looks like in a second here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my level two. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and clash again. And I get priority there. So if you're a higher level, you will gain priority over the Raider if um, you're a higher level. If you're the same, you will normally clash. But, of course, you have to be hitting the attack button. Alright, so this is a technique that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. And this is a vanish attack. So when you um, vanish with the circle button, you can vanish left, you can vanish right, you can vanish uh, forward, and you can vanish back, right? But if you vanish into the raider themselves, you do a vanish attack. And actually can deal a lot of damage. And if the super time machine is out, and say the raider is destroying the super time machine, you can actually vanish into them and kick them off the super time machine. Raiders can also do vanish attacks, but it's a good way of um, attacking the Raider. And another way to do so, if you weren't aware. Also, if you're fighting like an 8 Vegeta, you can use this technique as well. Alright, so I also wanted to show you guys what happens if you're fighting like close quarters in like a, you know, an area next to walls. If you get melee comboed uh, by a Raider, like in an area like this, if you get knocked into a wall, you'll actually get uh, smacked onto the wall. Make it easier for the Raider to kind of like combo you, but that happens when you're on balls. But yeah, just um, just want to talk about that as well. All right, so if you guys ever see any of your allies being attacked, um, you can actually stop them from being hurt or uh, comboed by initiating your own combo. Alrighty, so um, you're transformed here, and the Raider's gonna go attack uh, Gogeta. I'm gonna go engage in my melee combo, and that stops Gogeta from being attacked there. So you can also uh, stop Raiders from. Uh, attack your allies by engaging in your own melee combos. All right, so now we're going to show uh, me interrupting the raider, uh, hitting Gogeta um, by me being in my transformation. See, so Gogeta didn't take any damage there because I stopped Boo from hitting him before he was able to do so. So it also works when survivors are in their base form as well. I also wanted to show that um, the banish attacking, you can also do uh, similar to the melee combos. If you do it from above, you can smack the Raider up. So that kind of works as well, which is a little cool extra tech I just didn't even know about as well. So the Vanish uh, tech works similar to all uh, the melee combos. All right, so now we're back and we got Cell this time. And now I'm gonna be talking about Key Blast. So depending on the transfer that you have equipped, uh, the Key Blast varies. So the reason why I have Videl out is because her Key Blasts are very, very weak. Now uh, Videl I think is a decent transfer. She's uh, okay super attacks, but her Key Blast is really, really bad and the damage is not that great. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, another form of Key Blast. I have Cell as my level two, and he has very unique Key Blast as well. Um, they deal decent damage, and the range is okay. But uh, it's not exactly uh, the greatest Key Blast. For me, I feel like the best Key Blast are ones that come out fast, and ones that can kind of snipe the Raider here. So uh, the reason why I'm mentioning uh, them coming out fast is because there's some uh, transfers where the key blasts come out really fast, and it's especially in like the ball forms. So for trunks, kid trunks specifically, you can spam these key blasts like really, really fast, and it's really helpful um, for dealing, you know, 
like little bits of damage, but it's also really good and uh, fighting back against the Raider who might be spamming Key Blast. So I'm gonna shut that off in a second. All right, so for someone like Cell that has very similar like spear-based Key Blast, uh, I can actually combat his Key Blast of my own. So we're gonna shut that off right here. So he's shooting his Key Blast, I'm shooting mine. And as you can see, he's not dealing any damage to me. Of course, I'm not dealing any damage to him, but this allows you to kind of stall and uh, allow your other survivors to do whatever they need to do, come in for a melee combo, or basically whatever they like. But as you can see, depending on the key blast, you can really um, stall and combat the raider with your own. Of course, you know, your transformation will eventually end, but the fact that you can do this, uh, you know, makes key blast pretty strong, depending on the transfer that you have equipped, right? All right, so Cell is level three now, and for raiders that have beam bla uh, based key blast, you cannot counter uh, their key blast with uh, with the spear based key blast. As you can see, I'm spamming my key blast, he's spamming his, and I cannot counter him at all, and he's just piecing me up. So, this, um, you know, Super Boo, he has laser based uh, key blast. Level 2 Frieza, he has laser based uh, key blast. Um, same thing with Nappa as well, with laser based key blast. These key blasts only counter other key blasts that look the same. So, like level 3 Frieza, uh, Vegeta at level 3, level 2 Cell, level 4 Cell. Any Raider that has this form of Key Blast, that's where the Key Blast work. Alright, next I wanted to show you guys that uh, Key Blast actually do not change from level 3 to level 4. As you can see, these are my Key Blasts at level 3. I'm going to go ahead and grab my level 4 and the Key Blasts are not going to change at all. Also, I wanted to show that um, these Key Blasts are also good in countering uh, even level 4s, as long as they have uh, the Spear-based Key Blast or the Circle-based Key Blast, you can uh, still counter them to a certain extent. So I'm going to go ahead and get my level 4 here, and I'm going to shoot them. As you can see, it's the same exact speed, it's the same uh, exact key blast. They may deal a little bit more damage, but in terms of uh, their functionality, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and spin here, let the Raider know, to uh, shoot some key blasts. And I'm going to see if I can counter his key blast. And even at level 4, I can counter his key blast to a certain extent. Not to the same effect in this as level two, but it's definitely uh, not as bad. His key, uh, Cell's key blast is definitely really fast. As you can see, if I, if I stand still, some of them hit me, but it's about the same. But there we go. So something interesting that I actually wanted to show you guys is that uh, unfortunately this key blast tech does not work with all forms of key blast. It's really just the spear based ball forms of key blast. As you can see here, uh, me and Freeze are basically shooting the same type of key blast, and it's the laser. And it's not working the same way that it works for uh, spear-based key blast. I'm actually going to show on um, level three cell as well with the Kamameha, uh, just to show that's. I think that doesn't work for some reason. Alrighty, also wanted to show you guys that the Kamamehas, although they're great key blasts and they deal decent damage, they don't clash either. Um, as you can see, I'm spamming it. He's spamming it. There is no form of um, key blast key blast clash with the Kamamehas, unfortunately. Uh, I'm trying to do it at the same time as him. But I can guarantee you that even if we did do it at the same time, it would not clash. So it only works with the Key Blast Supers, unfortunately. But Combat Mehaz are not that bad. As you can see, I mean, this is the only damage I've dealt with Combat Mehaz. But yeah, let's see if we can get one together. Let's try again. Yeah, as you can see, it, can, it can't clash. But yeah. That's uh, pretty much everything for Key Blast. Now we'll talk Super Attacks. Alrighty, now for the last bit of the tutorial, we're going to be talking about Super Attacks. And first off, I'm going to be talking about Melee Supers and how I uh, suggest you guys landing those. And I'm going to show you first and foremost um, the weakness of uh, Melee Supers. So I'm going to go ahead and land this uh, Melee Super on Cell. And as you can see, he can cancel it by using his Knockback ability or Vanish Attack. Uh, Cell has the ability to Vanish out of Super Attacks. Um, so he actually doesn't deal any damage, but uh, every other Raider in the game basically will deal damage when they have a knockback. But the beauty with Melee Supers is that when Raiders are level 1, you can pretty much land these for free because they don't have access to them. But uh, assuming uh, you know the Raider does use their Vanish ability, like the uh, Raider does here, um, you know, well, you could use your uh, stun, and then after you use your stun, you'll be free to use your Melee Super. So Gogeta is going to make uh, Cell use his advantage here. So now he used it. Now Cell can't have any escapes. 
I use uh, my pose, he's stunned, and now I can land my melee super. This is typically how you'll be able to land your melee supers. I have my melee super tied to my level 1 here, but uh, say if I was the same uh, level as Cell, I would attack him in a melee combo, make him waste his uh, vanish or knockback ability, hit him with a stun, then use my melee super, and then uh, get out of dodge. Alright, so the next way to land a melee super is when the raider is in a melee combo. This works for all supers, but this also works for melee supers as well. So we're gonna shield that off right here. So Kajita's gonna hit him in a melee combo. And then I'm gonna use my melee super. Now it's gonna deal some damage, but depending on when you launch the melee super, you might not, might not get that much off. So I'm gonna try to time it a little better. So I got to deal a little more damage in this one, but not as much. So it's not the best way to land a melee super. You're better off doing it raw, but yeah. All right, if you want to get the most bang out of your buck, though, for using the melee super, you actually want to land it from behind. So my, um, Gogeta's going to go land the super on him, or do a melee combo. And I'm going to hit my super from behind. As you can see, the Ritter gets hit in place. Um, if I didn't do that, then uh, what happened previously would have happened. So if you want to land your melee super while the Raider's being comboed, you actually want to land it from behind the raider to deal as much damage as you possibly can. All right, so next up, we're gonna be talking about ranged super attacks. So for ranged super attacks, uh, this is how they work. Fire out a beam or some sort of blast out, right? Um, now, not all super attacks, you can kind of just uh, spam the ranged ones and just land on the raider. So I'm gonna go show that in a moment. Let me just get my change back, got it back. Now, I'm gonna try and land this super attack on Cell. So not moving, obviously it's going to land, but if he's uh, even flying away a little bit from a super attack like this, it will miss. So yeah, that's just him. Um, I don't even believe he dodged there, but uh, give me one moment. All right, yeah, so with super attacks like these, it's very easy for the Raider to dodge. So I'm just going to try to uh, wall toss this out. As you can see, he's just simply flying left and right, and I'm not going to be able to land this super attack. So you might be wondering, how am I going to be able to land this super attack? So there's uh, multiple ways you can go about it. <laughs> Uh, one of the ways is doing a stun like we did previously. So I'm going to land a stun here. And then I'm going to land my super attack. And that's how you can do that there. And then the other way to do it is to have an ally uh, melee combo the raider. So with a lot of fights, and uh, this game obviously involves teamwork. So um, Gogeta is going to go ahead and fight Cell here. And then once he is, I'm going to go launch my super attack. And that's another way that you can land your super attack. Typically with these super attacks um, that have a little longer startups that are ranged like this, you're not going to be able to launch them uh, just willy nilly. You're going to have to wait for the rare to be distracted, stunned, or held in place. You can do this while they're um, trying to absorb a survivor, while they're attacking a the super time machine, or of course when they're being melee comboed as I just showed. So with certain super attacks that are very quick and come out very fast, you can actually land on the raider just by kind of spamming them. And this works with Tien's try so I'm going to show that here. It can land, and uh, so it's going to try to fly away again. And I missed there, but it depends how close you are. But with certain super attacks, you can kind of just spam out. Oop, that one missed. That one missed. But um, it's definitely easier to land than not. But yeah. Yeah, so for like this super attack, you can actually land if you like kind of aim it and wait for Cell to like be in the range of it. So there I was able to land on Cell. But as you saw, if he's just flying in one direction, it's not going to land. So it depends on the super attack that you're using. But Tri-Beam is just an example of a super attack that's really quick. This could work with Kamehameha, this could work with Big Bang Attack. It depends on the super attack that you're using, but depending on how long the startup is, you're not gonna be able to just hit one roll and you'll have to do a setup like with a stun or landing a Raider in a melee combo. All right, boys, so uh, for the last thing I wanted to show, this is just some little extra bits here, um, is Vanish canceling. So whether you're trying to initiate a melee uh, combo on the Raider or if you use a melee based super attack, you can actually cancel it. So say um, I know I'm going to miss this super attack, I'm going to go launch it. I can actually uh, spam the circle button to uh, cancel the super attack a little early. You can't spam, um, like as you can see, I'm actually, uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go use my super attack. I'm spamming the circle button. As you can see, it doesn't work as soon as you would like. But it definitely um, ends a lot earlier with a uh, regular melee combo. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my level 2 and show that uh, when I try to fight Cell here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to initiate a melee combo. Oops, hit a key blast. And see, I can cancel it. I can cancel it there. So if I see Cell moving, if I see Cell doing a super attack or something to interrupt me, I can actually cancel it and fake him out here. So that's just a way, um, another little extra tip. So you can like... Um, do something tricky, cancel it. Uh, try to do a melee combo, cancel it, and then go into a vanish attack. Something, something tricky like that to kind of mix up the raider. 
But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this um, Survivor Combat tutorial. If there's anything I missed, anything you think I should discuss in this video, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, boys, I feel like um, some of you guys don't know how to approach the Raider in um, certain scenarios, so I feel like this video was definitely necessary to help uh, those people out. So yeah, boys, uh, you know, let me know in the comments uh, if anything I missed. Again, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe uh, to the Iron King channel for more combat tutorials, uh, updates, showcases, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.